We've arrived in Smith Falls. Isn't it beautiful? We spent seven days on the Rideau Canal in Ontario, Canada with La Boat. These are the experience we had and the places we saw as we cruised in a luxury houseboat along this incredible UNESCO World Heritage Site. Welcome to the Horizon 3 with La Boat. Come on in for a tour. La Boat has a fleet of boats on the Rideau Canal at their base in Smith Falls. You can choose from the Horizon 1 that has two cabins to the Horizon 5 that has five cabins and five bathrooms. We invited my brother and sister-in-law, Jim and Janice, along for the week, and we found that the Horizon 3 was perfect for two couples, but it could easily accommodate three couples, no problem, as it is a three-bedroom, three-bathroom layout. This is amazing. <sighs> the Horizon 3 has three bedrooms and three bathrooms, and there's a big king-size bed for the, uh, the, for the stars. <laughs> the people in charge, and then the two smaller beds. So come on, let's take a look at the master suite. I think I want to hang out here for a few days. Wow, oh, I get to, lucky me. <laughs> so the bathroom's in here, or as you call it, the head. And the bathroom here in the uh, main suite is separate from the shower, the shower's over here. So come on over. This is in the Horizon 3, you have a separate shower and bath. But let's go, I want to go see the uh, smaller rooms here, which are pretty awesome. Okay, this is extremely spacious. These are so much bigger than I expected. This, uh, this is a double bed in here with uh, another bathroom and shower. All right, this is so spacious. This table here, it goes into a bed as well. So say you have more people on board than you expected or you're fighting with your spouse, <laughs> you can sleep out here. <laughs> Full kitchen, microwave, everything you need, fantastic. Okay, now you don't want to spend all your time in the cabin because that's just for sleeping. It's going to be beautiful weather here on the Rideau Canal in the Canadian summertime. And we're going to be spending quite a bit of time up top. So the great thing about this is if the weather's bad, you can uh, drive from below or you can go up top and drive as well. Woo! You can sit this way when you're traveling, this way when you're swimming. I love it. So we are getting ready to load. We have all of our bikes and we have a kayak and then this is how you take it on with all of these uh, little trolleys here and we're just going to load onto our boat. It's very exciting now. It's real. We're going to be heading on the Rideau Canal. Before setting sail on your boat tour, be sure to explore a bit of Smith's Falls and check out the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario to take part in one of its many adventures. So here we are, we're at the Railway Museum and we're going to get to drive this sucker. The museum not only lets you tour different boxcars and cabooses, it also has several activities like taking a ride on the train. We were lucky enough to experience what life is like as an engineer. Looking for some very cool, unique accommodation. You can rent this on Airbnb. Come and stay in the caboose here. They'll cater dinner for you overnight. This is a pretty cool place to hang out. Welcome to the Rio Canal. Love boats were made for novice boaters. They all have limiters to control speed. The boats are equipped with bumpers all around and the drivers have a secret weapon. All boats have bow and stern thrusters that help you control the boat's direction with ease. We turned our 45 foot long boat on a dime. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome, we're just doing a spin. Perfect. After an hour or so lesson learning everything from how to drive and park the boat to reading charts and tying knots, 
We entered our first lock and said goodbye to our instructor who left us alone to explore a huge portion of the 202 kilometer long Rideau Canal. Our seven day trip took us from Smith's Falls to Jones Falls along the Rideau Canal and Rideau Lakes. We put Jim and Janice to work on the ropes while Dave and I took turns driving and navigating. Since Jim and Janice are avid boaters, Dave and I thought it would be cool to let them relax while we took the helm. Everyone has a task, but there is a lot of time to relax and enjoy as well. I'm working hard. <laughs> Hanging on to these lines. Plus, it's pretty cool to brag that you navigated your way through locks and completed a self-drive boating tour through this incredible UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a beautiful day here in Ontario, Canada. We're at Beverages Lock. It's our first stop and the skies have opened up and it's sunshine. Gonna be a gorgeous day on the Rideau Canal. This is absolutely beautiful. Our journey consisted of about two to three hours of boating per day as we navigated through the waterways from large lakes to narrow passageways. The scenery is beautiful as you pass mansions and islands and the friendly boaters that you meet as you go through the canals and locks. But I recommend not spending too long on the water because there's so much to see and do. The boats can dock at any lock station operated by Parks Canada. There are docks with power and places where you can fill up your water or pump out. And once you are in for the night, you can do everything from getting out to explore the nearby villages and towns, to hiking, kayaking, and cycling. Nice little bike ride to explore a bit more of the canal. So with Le Boat, you can rent kayaks and bring your bicycles, and it's really great to go kayaking down the channels. You can even go through the locks if you want. This is very cool. I haven't done anything like this. Done a lot of canoe stuff, but never gone through a lock. All right, so when you go to a lock, the lock etiquette is go to go up to the blue line and wait. If you do paddle through locks, make sure that you have a rope so that you can hang on to the side. Wow. We're in a lock on the Rideau Canal on a canoe. And you really do want a rope because the walls are slimy. You just uh, roll up with the, with the tide. We're in now. We're in now, here we go. Back. No turning back. No turning back now. awesome to see all that water rush in there. Well, we have arrived here at the beautiful town of Westport where we're going to dock for the night. There's a brewery, there's a winery, there's fudge and ice cream. Let's go check it out. We're at Schuerman Vineyard and Winery just out of Westport and what a beautiful setting. We have the vineyard in the background, the lake, there's art installations and it is spectacular. When you're in Westport, make sure you come on up to Spy Rock. What a gorgeous view of the town and the whole countryside here. And make sure you do some hiking. There's hiking trails all around here. All right, we're here at Westport Brewing Company and I'm about to dig into a nice flight of beer. Bet you wish you were me, don't you? And we're off. Every day is different on the boat. 
Sometimes your overnights are at lock stations or you're out on mooring balls and islands and even in towns and local marinas. It's never the same thing twice. The most fun we had was navigating through the charts to make it to our next destination. We followed our maps to the buoys and markers as we made our way through the canal system. One of the cool things you get when you come on the boat is uh, a chart book like this. And basically what it does is it tells you uh, exactly what the different depths are, uh, gives you the best route to take, um, shows you where all the buoys are. So it, it really is important when it's planning out your route. And they do give you a whole overview of this and how to actually use this map before you head out. So it's a good thing to really pay attention to that because when we are here, we have one person driving and one person navigating because it's a little tough to do both. Um, and this is a great way to actually plan out your trip as well to see where you want to go and how many days or how long it's going to take to get there. The boat also gives you uh, a breakdown like this which basically tells you what the driving time in their boats is between uh, different uh, spots on the Rideau Canal. It's like the yellow brick road. It's all mapped out for you. It's awesome. But be warned, you really do need to pay attention and follow those charts and use those binoculars because it's very easy to make a wrong turn. We've arrived at Colonel By Island. The weather took a big turn today, so it's chilly. So I'm all uh, bundled up to go for a little hike around the island and see what's up. I heard that the Rat Pack used to hang out here and the Mafia from New York used to hang out here. So uh, it's a pretty historic island. Let's go see. There's really so many things to do. Every day is something different. You have a mix of towns, islands, hiking trails, biking trails, kayaking, boating. It's quite the all-inclusive trip of adventure. The all-inclusive adventure trip with La Boat. Yeah. Good morning. So we're about to go through the Narrows, which is actually, I think, the narrowest lock here on the Rideau Canal. So it really puts your boating skills to the test. The Rideau Canal locks are very unique because most of the locks are hand cranked by Parks Canada staff, just the way they operated it in the 1800s. This has kept the experience very authentic and it also makes it a lot more fun as you get to know the staff and watch them hard at work while you relax on your luxury yacht. Oh gosh, <laughs> here we go. Well, this is pretty awesome. We just came into Chafee's Lock. It's a nice little nook here absolutely beautiful like everything here on the Rideau Canal. Easy peasy, nice and easy. <laughs> In for the night. When on a boat tour, you have the option to eat out at some of the restaurants at places like Chafee's Lock, Westport or Newborough. But you also have a full kitchen and a barbecue on deck to make your own gourmet meals with ease. It's going to be a good day. Another great day on the water, ending up with a big feast. One of the cool things is there's a lot of history around here along the Rideau Canal, like this blockhouse behind me here in Newborough. You learn a lot about what life was like along the canal during the 1800s. You have to make sure you tuck into every little hiking trail around here for some lookouts over the canal and all of the little estuaries. It's really great to just get out and explore whenever you dock your boat. One of the coolest stops on our trip is Kilburn's on the Rideau right here in Newborough. There's local crafts and artisans. They have some awesome cowboy boots that are handcrafted designs. And it's really a lot of fun just wandering through the maze of these historic five houses that are all together creating this very unique general store. Whoa. 
Welcome to the Rideau Ferry Stop here on our lovely Le Boat trip. Make sure you grab a beer at the Perth Brewery or CC's. It's the perfect stop on the Rideau. Just unbelievable to me that a big boat can go down this narrow channel. Coming up on the lock, woohoo! By the time you've had a few days at the wheel, you'll feel like a pro as you impress all your family and friends and your fellow boaters. We are at Thousand Islands Helicopter Tour here in Gananoque, Ontario, and we are about to go up and see the beautiful scene of a thousand islands and the St. Lawrence River. There are so many activities to do on the Rideau Canal. Even if you don't make it to Kingston on the boat, it's just a short drive to the city and the St. Lawrence River. A great way to explore after being on the water is to take a helicopter tour to see everything from above. So if you're looking for a great summer getaway, check out La Boat on the Rideau Canal, or they're all over the world. Where do we go next, Dave? Ooh, I think it might be Europe. Sounds good, right? Let's do it. We're pros. If you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe for more travel guides from around the world and click on that bell so you get notified in your inbox.